Good morning. Welcome to the International Student Forum of the 59th Congress of KAMT. Thanks, Mr. Tan. I'm so glad today to see the young scientists from Japan and South Korea today, although it's on that condition. I hope we can see the next year, right? So the next team is from uh, Dongnam Health University from South Korea. And uh, Ms. Lee will present about ineligible untapped to future the minded student. Okay, let's start. Everybody. My name is Myung-Lim Lee. I'm a student at Dongnam University. Thank you for coming to my presentation today. Our team conducted research related to online lectures on the topic of Inside Corona and Inside Korea at the Korean Association of Medical Technologies Conference. The topic of my presentation today is online classes. Now let's start presenting our research. Table of contents. I will present it in the order of introduction, main body, and conclusion. Now, I'm going to start by inevitable non-contact, future-minded student. Number one, introduction. Currently, non-contact is prevalent in many fields due to the coronavirus. In the field of education, we also have adopted a lot of online classes. As you can see from this chart, the demand for online lectures is currently increasing after COVID-19. So, I will present what the students think about the online lectures. Number two, main body. Before that, let me talk about our school's on contact class system. Our school is conducting online classes using the LMS system. As shown in these pictures, Professors upload lecture videos, materials, and quizzes. And then, students take their lectures, solve their quizzes, and attend within a fixed term. In here, we got curious about what students think about the online lectures, so we conducted a questionnaire and analyzed it. According to the result, 42% of students are satisfied with online lectures, but 10% are dissatisfied. And the advantages of online lectures, students think, are that they can listen to lectures repeatedly until they understand them. And they can also listen to lectures regardless of time and place. And 33% of students are satisfied with the quality of the lectures but 16% are dissatisfied. Despite advantages, there were disadvantages such as limitations to experimental subjects, low concentration on lectures, and difficulty in immediate communication. And Arundel Country Schools in the United States uses robots which have iPads so that students can see the inside of the classroom with screens and cameras. And at Asan Medical Center in Seoul, nurses can experience nursing skill in virtual reality by wearing VR devices. I thought these methods were expensive, so I thought about improving the existing teaching method rather than introducing a new teaching method. First, Reduce the lecture video time a little bit, and then aid the Q&A lecture with the prof professors. In other words, we create Q&A classes as much as we reduce the time. If you send questions about each lecture to the professors, the professors will see them 
integrate them and explain them in Q&A time. It would be easy to know for professors which part of the lectures was difficult for students to understand. And I think reflecting on this question in the school can increase their participation. Second, conduct face-to-face -face classes for experimental subjects by taking COVID-19 tests once a week. It reduces concerns about experimental subjects and also would be a good way to increase student responsibility for personal quarantine rules. Finally, summarizing student opinions on online classes, most students evaluate online classes well due to the advantage of being able to listen to lectures regardless of time and place. But due to the nature of online classes, there are some disadvantages also, such as limitations of experimental subjects and role concentration. Students are well aware of the limitations of online classes, and as online classes have grown due to COVID-19, they will continue to take many online classes. So I think it is necessary to improve online classes through various methods. These portals show the research process of our NIS team members. We had several meetings with our team members for this study, and we put in a lot of effort such as various literatures and surveys. Thank you for listening to my presentation. If, if there is any questions, I will do my best to answer that. Thank you. Okay, it's so the nice presentation to Ms. Lee. To Ms. Lee, is so the right to answer two questions? Yes, I yeah. can. It's okay? Everything is yes. okay? All right, yes. so I, I have uh, three questions from the student. That The first question is, uh, someone asked that, uh, someone think that it would be useful to spend a little more time on a Q&A online, and I also, it will be difficult to improve the low level, low student immersion online. So, what do you think? Is need to raise the overall level of student immersion in the online situation? Um, I already mentioned it in my presentation. Reflecting those scores on Q and A time will increase student participation. And for students who don't have any questions students would have time to discuss with each other with questions asked by other students without the professor saying the answer right away. And also scoring based on this discussion will increase student participation. Um, engaging students in online learning is one of the difficulties faced to faculty members. However, in this study, most students answered that they were satisfied that they could retake online classes anytime, no matter how many times. Therefore, I think that discussion with students and repeated learning can be an alternative to student low immersion. Excellent. So I also have a second question. So how should distant learning be improved concretely? It's ready. Um, let's think the methods I mentioned in my presentation. It was suggested to reduce the time for online lectures and have a time for q and instead. And in order to increase participation, the score was suggested to be reflected in this q and time. As you can see from this, my methods are focused on learners not instructors. These are methods on how to increase learners' concentration, learners' participation, and learners' understanding. Like this, when we try to improve distance learning in the future, I think it is necessary to focus on the learners' position. And the students who participated in this survey 
also hope that the experimental education would be conducted face to face. So as the solution to this, it would be necessary to develop education methods using meta metaverse, AR, VR, and uh, virtual world through scientific development in the future. Okay, very good. So you think it's, uh, the time saving is very important, is right, right? Time saving, you, you said. Time saving. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that right? Uh, yes. And uh, no, no, no. Um, time, no, um, uh, I think uh, focus on the learner's, learner's position. All right, I see. Okay. So the third question is, uh, you have conducted a survey on a non-face-to-face -face lecture, and I wonder how you are conducting subject that require practice and how you prepare to proceed if we are not? Uh, our university has a standard in which all classes are conducted face to face in the third stage of social distancing of COVID-19. This is also true of other universities. Currently, in the fourth stage of social distancing of COVID-19, our school is conducting some face-to-face -face experimental classes. Also, starting next week, our experimental classes will be conducted face-to-face. -face. However, it is true that the higher the national distancing level, the less opportunities to face-to-face -to -face of experimental classes. Therefore, regardless of the social distancing stage, I think it is a good idea to conduct face-to-face -face classes for experimental subjects. And at the same time, to find ways to increase student personal quarantine responsibilities. Excellent, thanks for answers. Okay, so let's, let's move. Uh, the next team is, uh, uh, from Kobe Tokyo University of Japan, and Ms. Wada will present about the chance to give me by distant learning. Okay, okay let's start. Okay. 